Hello guys, welcome back to my cooking session. I'm cooking some tea tonight and um, the recipe is called Calderita and I'm using, the meat that I'm using is a braised steak or beef. Um, so the ingredients are obviously, the um, I've chopped the beef and we're gonna be using potatoes and carrots. We've got onions, bell pepper, and we've got these green peas. And the main ingredients is this calderita spicy sauce mix. So let's start cooking, guys. Okay, now. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, guys. Um, I've heated up the pan and I'm going to put olive oil. So I haven't put calderita in ages. So since we have lots of bell pepper to use and some of the vegetables, so I decided to cook some for tea tonight. So let's put some onions in. So how are you doing guys? I hope you are all keeping safe. So now it's golden brown now guys. I'm going to set aside the onions. So I'll add some more olive oil. And then I'm gonna fry the beef. I've, I've marinated the beef uh, only with, only with pep black pepper and salt. Fry the beef until it gets brown. So guys, I'm just frying. I'm just frying the beef, and um, I'm adding an extra ingredients to it. I like frying uh, beef with bay leaves, so I'm gonna be throwing in bay leaves. I just like the smell and the taste that adds into it, so the bay leaves. So now that um, the meat is all brown, so I'm going to be pouring some uh, boiled water. So I'd say like um, 200 to 300 ml to start with, depending on your um, how much meat you're cooking and, to, and the vegetables to go with it. So um, we're aiming to have um, we're aiming to have uh, just the right to have just the right juice in the dish and uh, not runny and not too thick. So I will leave that to steam for like first 30 minutes. Hello guys, welcome back. Um, 30 minutes is over. So I've tried the meat earlier guys and um, it's it's almost um, tender enough. So what I'll do is I'm gonna add in the Calderita spicy sauce mixture. All of it, oh, the whole packet goes in. And then I'm going to add in the carrots and potatoes. So 
so I think that's enough. So I've added more water, like uh, 200 ml water. So just stir it nicely. So we'll leave it for like 10 to 15 minutes enough time to cook the vegetables it's just an easy dish really guys um but it is yummy so guys i'm gonna leave that for 10 to 15 minutes now i'll um i'll put the lid back on so guys see you in 15 minutes hello guys we're back to our cookie so i'll show you guys so since it's getting a little bit um dry um I'm going to add some more water, let's say uh, 200 ml more water and then I'm going to put in the rest of the vegetables. Some of the green peas, let's actually and then just give it a stir. So just stir it nicely. Let's try the carrots. Mm. I'm getting hungry now guys it's actually a late tea or it's going to be supper for us um, it's I don't know what time it is now um, half an hour ago it was like it was just gone seven so after after you've stirred it enough mix all the vegetables nicely and then we'll it for another five minutes just to cook the rest of the vegetables so and then we will throw in the um, the onions that we've set aside earlier um, it's nice to um, put it last um, it's nice to put it last because you can still um, the taste of the fried onion and the crunchiness crunchiness <laughs> and the crunchiness in it um, would give nice taste into the calderita. It's kind of uh, different. Usually, usually they just um, we just leave we just leave the onion cooking the whole time. But I like uh, the crunchiness and fresh taste of the onion into it. There, it it gives more bite in the dish. So guys, that's it. I've stirred it enough, and then I will just cook it for in medium heat. I will just cook it for five more minutes. Hello, guys. Ito na po. Nakikita nyo po guys. Ito po yung after 5 minutes, ito po yung juice niya. It's perfect. Really just perfect. So what I'm gonna do is throw in the translucent uh, onions. And just finish it. So now guys, I'm just gonna mix it. And you can turn off the cooker because that is ready to serve. So this is so yummy guys, one of my favorites. And um, you can eat it on its own or have some rice, quinoa, whatever you like. Um, but gosh, this is so yummy. <laughs> I know it's my own cooking and I can say anything I want, but <laughs> honestly guys, I'm just excited to to taste to eat it. Um, enjoy the taste. All right. So I'm gonna show you guys the finishing product, the finished product. So I can start with ser serve it. Yeah. 
the smell of the onions, my god. It really makes uh, that difference if you if you do it that way. Um, this is just um, a little way I've added to it of um, the typical uh, calderita. So, you know, uh, fry the onion and set it aside and put it up the last part of your cooking and it's just beautiful. I mean, I don't really need to, I mean, it's only, there's only me and Ryan, so I'm trying to get some more of the juice. So there you go, guys. Oops. So that's the finished product guys, oh my, there you go guys, that's the finished product, so the beef is nice and tender, and there's plenty more leftovers, so bon appetit! Shura, shura. Kita niyo yung juice, guys. Ayan. So, talagang may juice pa siya. Uh, ganito. Well, you can make it a lot juicier if you want, but this is how I like it. Um, there you go. So, that's my cooking done. Um, we are ready to enjoy the, the beef caldarita. So, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you guys like this recipe and hopefully you can try it at home and see what you think. So, that's it, guys. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe on our channel and hit that notification bell button to be updated with all of our videos. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and see you again soon. Bye!